In this video, I'm going to write some C-sharp code that uses Azure's AI vision service to perform facial recognition on a collection of JPEG images. Each image will be analyzed, and if a face is detected, a red rectangle will be drawn around it. Also, the file will be renamed to something meaningful relating to the image and moved into a folder called People. Any image without some face recognized within it will be moved to the Not People folder. So let's get started. I've created an empty C-sharp project I'm going to add some packages using NuGet. Okay, so the first one is Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services Vision Computer Vision, uh, version 701. We also need Microsoft Extensions Configuration. Version 8. And we need configuration.json. Again, version 8. And finally, system drawing common. A01. Okay, so once they're installed, go to program. I'm going to copy some code that I made earlier. So these are the namespaces. So here we're declaring the computer vision client, and we're also setting the folder path that contains the source images and the folders where we want to save the analyzed images. So here you want to get the Azure account settings. But I also need to create an app settings JSON file to store the endpoint and the key. So here you need to paste in your cognitive services endpoint and your cognitive service key. Uh, so make sure you have those. Go back to program. So here you want to authenticate the client. And here we want to go into the source folder and get all the images contained within. Uh, it's only going to search the top directory, so we don't need to go into the subfolders. Now I need to create a method called analyze image. So what we're doing here is we're passing the image file and a counter. The counter is just to give each file, to make, make sure each file has uh, a, a unique number. So passing it the image file, which it can then, this method can then pass up to the Azure service. So here we're specifying the features that we want Azure to retrieve from the image. Let's delete that. So we, we're getting the description of the image, and we're also trying to get the faces that are found to be within each image.
So here we're preparing the image files. And this is the key section of code here, because now we're sending the image for analysis. So we want to await the computer vision client until it gets the data back. So we're getting faces and in this case, a uh, caption or, or description. So here we're preparing the image for drawing. So this allows us to draw the rectangle at a specific color around the, the face if one is There's a face found within the image. Then we need to execute this code. So for each of the faces found within, because it might not be just one face, there might be several. Uh, so for each face, draw a rectangle around it based on these coordinates. And here what we're doing is, if there's a so the image as well, then save the edited image to the people directory with a file name that corresponds to the description. So here we're getting the, 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 the caption that the Azure service has brought back. We're saving it as a JPEG file. So if faces count is greater than zero, so if, if a face has been found, otherwise, else, then we don't need to draw any rectangle around anything, but we still need to Give the fault, give the file a meaningful name and move it to the not people directory. build a solution, build successful, so let's give it a try. So it starts to analyze the images that it's fine, the root folder. So we can go over to this root folder, so it doesn't actually do anything does not make any, make any changes to the source, but we can see that the two directories are being populated. So let's go into people. So you can see the source picture is just some random number, but now it's moved into people and it's given a file name, man wearing glasses. So you can see the red rectangle around the face. You can see the red rectangle there. And if we are looking at multiple faces in an image, see it's all very accurate about drawing the red rectangle around them. So that's worked very well. That's going to the not people folder. So yeah, it's detected that each one of these is not a person. So obviously there's no red rectangle, but still it's given a file name that is meaningful to the image. A couple of bottles of alcohol, dog lying on the floor, car parked on grass. Okay, so that covers facial recognition using Azure AI. 
thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below.